Need rigs? Ace Five Studios has rigs. Hey, this is Alexei. So today we're talking about baking materials uh, using polygon selections to so baking colors onto objects. And the thing is, I'm doing this because I was trying to do it and it wasn't working and I found some problems and I decided to notify you, wonderful people of the internet, on how to do this. So my challenge is that I have these pants here, right? Let's click on them and then press S key to find them in the object manager. And let's turn off our cloth surface and maybe our hyper nerves or subdivision surface it's called now. And what we're gonna do is we wanna go to our polygon tools and we're gonna go uh, selection and loop selection. And we wanna make these white. Now, the problem with this is that if we just, we, let's double click, here we go, we're in the material manager, let's double click, make one material which is red and one material which is white. Let's apply this to the pants and then apply the red one to the selection. You can just drag it onto a polygon selection or you can just right click and go apply. And the thing is Cinema 40 has this really handy bake material tag. If you go to object, you go bake material and let's go tag and change this to JPEG. Um, and we can keep the size of whatever it is. Obviously you wanna increase this when you're actually doing stuff, but let's press options. Let's press color, use polygon selection. And when we press bake, we should have a texture map. Press bake, which has the red stripes and the white pants in here. But see, it's just all red. There's no stripes. You might be saying, well, maybe it's because the color is, okay, let's just make it red and purple. Although it should be mostly white, but just for those who are curious, we press bake and it's still not gonna work. And it turns out the problem is basically just stuff that's around this polygon object. It seems to be if it's in a null, if it's in, it has a surface to form. So what you wanna do is you wanna go control C on this and then you wanna control V it. So it's at the top of the hierarchy and delete the deformer under it. So this is a clone. This is not the original pants. This is just, Move to middle. This is just another copy. So we're just using a copy. And we're gonna press bake here now. And you will see that now it'll magically work. See, we have purple plants with red stripes. So that's the first lesson. Then you can obviously delete this because you still have this um, object. You have this open window. Nope. Because right, you have this thing now, which is in here, let's open up the folder. It's not where it is. Um, it should be in the folder wherever your file was, wherever your file is saved, there is, that's it. So we have this JPEG now and we can delete these pants, but for now let's just hide them. So now we have these original pants, um, where are they? There they are. And now we can delete all the top materials and just apply the color in this red tag so we can Texture, we can drag this in. And now, see we're no longer using multiple colors, we just have this one. Why is it purple and... <laughs> okay, odd. What if we hit control R to render? some GI stuff. Okay, well, that's a whole new problem that we have. Let's get our, look at our UVs. Okay, image. Ah, because it's only applied to a selection. There you go, so let's delete this. There you go, purple and red, it works. Perfect, so make sure when you're doing what I've showed you, you delete the selection tag, or you maybe just make a new material for the texture image. But what we can now do is since we're not using the original geometry, because in this one, obviously we can't change the geometry. Like say we wanna split this stripe up, right? Like we wanna have a little purple thing in the bottom. Um, what we can actually do is let's hide these original ones for a second and let's turn our, this thing. Let's hope YouTube algorithm doesn't <laughs> censor that. And on this one, what we can actually do is this material seems to have already applied everything. Good color, let's clear this out. We don't need this here. Let's go, so we have the red and purple here. 
And what we're going to do is we're going to go to polygon mode and we're going to go KL for loop cut. And let's add a loop cut here. And then when we select this polygon selection, let's go the select and loop selection and holding the control key, let's deselect this and then click on our selection tag and go update. And now we have the stripe going down, but notice now we have extra polygons on this mesh, but it doesn't matter because we're not actually animating this mesh. So what we can do is we can bake this material again, options. Maybe let's make this a bit higher, 1024. By the way, if you want to change both of them at once, what you do is you control click these, so you select both of them. And then when you here, when you press control enter and the control button enter, and it'll change both of them at once. So then we go options and let's go bake. And I'll overwrite the file, the JPEG you already have, so you don't have to replace it in your other pads. So let's hide this. Let's go back down to our pants that we have here. Um, there you go. And let's display them. And on this material, oh, okay. Let's drag this into here. Now, we should probably make a new material flat. That's probably what's messing us up. <laughs> Don't do that. Let's make a new material. Double click, supply it to our pants. Delete this and double click on this to get some material and here texture. Let's drag our seven load JPEG in there. And now we have our stripes. Obviously the higher resolution you bake, the better it is. But also in the viewport, sometimes you can fix it when you load it and you can see it's pretty um, jagged. You can just change this to texture preview size to no scaling. There you go, it's a bit nicer there. And there we have it. And now we have stripes in our pants. And if we go to our move tool, object and move tool, wherever it may be. There you go, see, and they still work. And you've painted some new textures on it. Brilliant, right? You can also keep the normal map if you want, because right now, as you can see, we lost the normal map. If you apply your pants back here, and we just open it, and here in the color channel, we drag our new seven load color in there. There you go, and we still have the normal map there, but we have a different color scheme. You can also play around with how you want the polygon selection. This is also handy if you use noise, because for example, in this material, let's go clear this and let's add noise. It's the wrong pants. These pants, let's go clear this. And let's add noise. Oops, we'll click there. If we add noise and let's just, let's drag our low clip up and low clip down. There you go. So let's say we have a material like this and we jack up the brightness a bit. Nope, contrast. There you go. And then here we can adjust, say the global scale down a bit. And it doesn't be black and white. We could make it some kind of giraffe color. For example, like this. What you'll notice is while in the viewport, it'll work. When you actually render this often, uh, your noise will swim. So that's also a useful time to bake because then you can bake it. Um, but also you obviously you want to bake the noise so then you can use it in game engines or wherever you're exporting to. But the same process applies, like, you know, make sure <laughs> you do it on a new object that's not inside a bunch of hierarchies and it should work. Have a good one. Don't forget to check out, you know, rigs and stuff and the rest of the Ace 5 Studios website. Thanks for watching. And as always, remember, if you need rigs, Ace 5 Studios has rigs. We have free rigs up here that you can use in your personal projects. We have Mari and Mia and 5J Pack for explainers and arms and legs. And Maria has a bunch of cats and animals she can use. And here, if you go through, Mari has a full face rig. Which you, can, you know, it's lots of functionality. You can use them in your projects. Mia is also fully rigged. Um, you can use her as a host or to sell your product. Um, also have the arms and legs pack, which you can put together to build your own characters and you, they're already rigged. So you don't need to do any weight painting. You just have to stick them together and ready to go. Or you have 5j people for your explainer videos and other stuff. So don't forget to check it out and see you next time.